Welcome to this resin abstract tutorial. My name's Michelle Tracy. Today I'm experimenting with an abstract idea, creating um, some texture out of sand and some nice silver shimmer. So I'll start by mixing my sand texture and I'll add some silver metallic acrylic paint. And I'll just keep stirring it until I'm happy with um, all the sand being covered in the paint. And I'll spread on some modeling paste to create some texture. And I'm using modeling paste instead of white gesso because the paint, the modeling paste tends to create more three dimensional raised um, formations. Whereas the gesso, it may look raised initially, but once it dries, it becomes flat. And while that paste is still wet, that's when I'm dropping on my silver sand and spreading that in. Some of the sand won't actually stick to the board. It will kind of just sit on top, but that's okay because the resin will make it stick. Once I pour the resin on, it'll stick down all that texture. And these silver shells, they're so beautiful and shiny. I actually spray painted them with silver spray paint. And it's really important that you buy a spray paint that is light fast, meaning that it's not going to fade. Your beautiful shells aren't going to fade over the years. And once I'm happy with this, I'm going to leave it in the sun, place it out in the sun for a few days actually, bringing it in at night of course, but making sure that that modeling paste and that silver paint is thoroughly dry. Now that it's dry, I'm mixing my resin and I'm using art resin and I've mixed equal parts and making sure it's very well stirred so that there's none of those lines in it. It's very clear. This beautiful blue is a liquid pigment by Lores Expressions and it's called Horizon Blue. You can just keep dropping uh, drops in until you're happy with their color um, strength. And I now I'll mix my white, which is also from Lores Expressions. It's called Angel White. I really love it because I get some great lacing with the art resin. And this dark color is Stormy Night by Art Tree Creations. And I'm now mixing a metal powder to get a beautiful shimmer and beautiful effect on my painting. As soon as I've mixed these colors, I'm pouring them right away because I still want them to have a very thin consistency so they'll blend together. They don't need to be thick today because I'm not creating a three-dimensional wave. I'll tilt my board to just spread that color around. You can just use a heat gun or a hairdryer, but I'm just going to tilt it. It's a small painting. And I love how transparent that is. That's why I chose that Horizon Blue liquid pigment. It's very transparent, meaning that the texture underneath can show through. And now I'm going to drop in some of this Stormy Night color to contrast with the lighter shade. Now, I'm using the craft stick because I don't want to drop too much on at once. I really want to control how much I put down because it could be just overbearing. And using that same technique to pour the white on and the blowtorch to pop those bubbles now that I've got the initial layer down. And using my heat gun to just move those colors around, blend them into it together and also to create some lacing. The heat coming out of that gun is going to help with the lacing. Now I do only have it set to a low fan speed today because I really don't want to push it all over the place. I don't need to move that. It's not like I'm creating a wave where I've got to really push it to um, a great length. It's only backwards and forwards over the top of each other today if that's making sense. And I'm making sure that I don't keep in the one area for too long or, or else you can burn your resin actually if you keep that heat gun in the one spot. So I'm moving around. Now I'm placing down that metal powder, that beautiful shimmer shiny powder that's going to just really give it, lift this piece and complement that silver uh, sand. You can see how that uh, metal powder just sits on top. It's different to a silver resin pigment if you were to mix a silver resin pigment it would actually kind of just blend into the resin but the silver the powder the metal powders will actually sit on top of the resin like kind of like a, a silver leafing effect and yes I'm at an ugly stage of the painting sometimes paintings have to go through an ugly stage before they come out looking beautiful at the end so hang in there with me and we'll see how it turns out now this white may look a bit dramatic and too much right now, but in about 10 minutes that lacing will start forming and when I, once I get that heat onto it, it'll really start to activate the lacing. And I know that it will because I'm using Art Resin and Angel White together and I know that they really create some good lacing. 
Speaking of which, it's really important to use a high quality resin, in my opinion. If you're going to be selling your artwork or you want to keep it long term, it's important to have a resin that has excellent non yellowing properties. And if you'd like to get my free ebook on what tools and materials I use for my ocean resin art, I'll leave that link in the description. And I'll show you a close up footage now of the finished piece and you can see all that texture and how the colors have blended nicely together and also how that lacing has occurred. See that white? That was um, a flat white before and now look at it, it's laced. And I always welcome your questions and your feedback, so please leave them in the comments. My name's Michelle Tracy and thank you so much for watching.